Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. So this is a $200 flashlight called Pine Phone, Daily Driver version th 3, update 4. So, um, same issues as previous days. The um, Wi-Fi modem disappears hardware-wise from the phone, software can't find it anymore. Um, this time, however, airplane mode was not turned on, and manipulating it on off did not restore the phone to functionality like it did yesterday. So it's behaving differently today. Same symptoms. Uh, the resolution that fixed it yesterday doesn't work today. So I may have to t take the original solution, which is to power it down, take the battery out, and get that Wi-Fi going again. And another interesting thing I've noticed too, I noticed this the last couple of days, is that I always keep the, the Bluetooth disabled, but it seems, well, I'm trying to get the Wi-Fi going again, somehow it enables Bluetooth again. So there must be something else that's uh, going on there. So, okay, yeah, so not much else to report. Um, you know, batteries uh, coping right now. It's funny, uh, I haven't run out of battery, I, I think. When it malfunctions, it seems to charge the battery better. So, so, so like it, it, like it sheds some load off the phone, and more of the charging goes into the battery rather than consumed by malfunctioning devices. I don't know. Very strange. So uh, a couple things. I had a couple of commenters on my uh, episode uh, three of version three daily driver that um, have not uh, have not shown up on YouTube at all and this seems to be a common problem um, it's been it's been over a day since they were posted I, I know this because I get an email anytime somebody comments as soon as they comment so even if you edit it I get the original email so I knew what to type first so anyway uh, so I, I so I'm, I'm gonna read these as well and, and comment about a few things the first thing I like to comment on is that um, one of the users named Beepus, strangest name I've ever heard. It must mean something to young people. B e p i s um, is is a, is the user. He says, "I wish I was making ten dollars every time a Pine phone was sold. I hope you realize Pine 64 doesn't make any of the operating systems available for the Pine phone, so they can't really be responsible for the functionality of the software." If the hardware is defective, then that's on Pine 64, and that's fair. Well, I'm sorry, you're mistaken that because let's refer again for the thousands time to the Pine64.org/slash/PinePhone page. The purpose of the PinePhone isn't only to deliver a functioning Linux phone to end users. So they promised me a Linux phone. They didn't fun pr promise me a phone with no OS, right? That's not what they say there. So they accept responsibility for the, the, that operating system by offering it on the phone that they're selling me. So, so you're wrong, Mr. Beepus. They've they've acknowledged it. They, you know, it, it's like you go to if you, if you go to Best Buy and buy a computer, and and it it does it it, it doesn't come with Windows, then it, it says it doesn't come with Windows, right? But it comes with Windows. So. They just said their phone comes with Linux software, so so there they they immediately become responsible for ensuring that their software installed on the phone that's Linux, right? So you are wrong. Again, the Kool Aid drinkers just grasping at straws, trying to trying to defend their 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 flagship product, and and you you know this is why it's a consumer fraud claim because. They're making statements about the phone that they're not willing to, to fess up on. And they think like you. They don't think they're responsible either. But they are because they just said they were. We're going to provide it. And it's not my problem if they didn't work out the, 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 the contract with, with the, the community that's going to provide it to them or, or support it down the road. It's not my problem. I didn't, I didn't make the agreement and I didn't make the statement. I just read, read the statement, accepted it as fact. And I find out I'm I'm saddened that it's not fact at all. Anyway, so Beepus is wrong. Funny thing about Beepus 
whenever somebody comments I always click on the name and, and see what they're all about most of them are channels with no no content but this beepest one is really funny when I click on the comment in the email on one computer that is not logged into YouTube I get a, an account that was created February of 2013 with three subscribers and no content but when I when I go to my logged in page on a different computer and I search for Beepus I find a, a different user with 71,000 subscribers and and lots of content so and and but but it, it was account was created a couple months later so so I'm not sure how someone can comment on my site and have no views on their channel so, so something is weird is going on there I suspect there's a, it's a double you know how can you have a channel with the same name uh, that that puzzles me uh, isn't YouTube doesn't it have to be unique and 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 how is it get how are they getting around it is is this some kind of camouflage to so that you can you can do drive-by commenting and not, not be have to trace back to you I don't know I'm just putting it out there for thought uh, what I do find is that there's a lot of glitches in YouTube about comments not ever appearing. They they just never ever appear. And and if I didn't have that email, I would never know they existed because it doesn't it doesn't appear in the in the studio or any of the management tools. It's like it doesn't exist. So I don't know. Maybe they comment them and delete them. But how do you explain this this two different profiles? I, I don't know either. Anyway, on to the next comment. My next comment is about the ten dollar fee. Let me find it here. I accidentally closed it. Okay, what does this guy say? Uh, the way I understand the ten dollars, it goes to the creators of the distro on that phone. For example, the proceeds from Ubuntu Touch Edition would go to the Ubuntu Touch team. I don't think the money was it was going to influencers. Maybe it was though. There's a lot of people shilling on on YouTube. Yeah, um, I, I I I'm not sure. I know what he's saying is it, are the people on YouTube the the team part of the team. I think they are. Uh, I don't think the team's that big that they have. That they have uh, a separate team, and none of them are YouTube users. I, I find that hard to believe. I, I think they're all and they're all from the same party, based on how they react when they're faced with challenges. Um, yeah. So, um, what else have I got? Anything else? Just a minute. Okay. Uh, just uh, keep in mind uh, all you. Uh, Pine Phone owners who have a brick for a phone, uh, be sure to sign up for the Pine Phone Action. And um, also to PLN, I'm looking forward to the Pine Phone December update. I can't wait to see what's new and exciting this month. A, a week to go, so we'll, we'll be we'll be looking for it. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you soon.